The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Jefferson City, Missouri, weighing in at 215 pounds, Chase Logan. We have one-on-one -on -one action on the way, and this one should be nothing short of amazing. I don't doubt that for a moment, Michael. In fact, I would go so far as to say this match might just steal the show. And a win here would go a long way in proving he's as good as he says he is. Sounds like you're doubting him, Cole. Let me tell you something. You never want to doubt this guy. Trust me. And his opponent, from Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 330 pounds, Damian Jones. Guys, we have two of WWE's most exciting superstars ready to square off here. And there's nothing quite like seeing two superstars settling it in the ring in one-on-one -on -one action, Michael. And he clearly comes into this match in tremendous physical condition. Yeah, but where is he mentally, Cole? That's the real question. I don't care about how good you look. If you don't have it upstairs, you're simply not going to succeed. Both men enter this match with tidal waves of momentum, which set them on a collision course for this very moment. It's all or nothing, and these two men wouldn't have it any other way. And judging from the crowd here in this arena, I think it's safe to say that WWE is the king of Sacramento tonight. Just look at this man. He's all business. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. And I don't think he sees the world like the rest of us guys. To him, treachery is an art that should be celebrated. But the only thing I want to celebrate right now is this beating he's receiving. He slams him down with authority. Ill-advised move. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron.
He's taking a long time to get up, guys. Perhaps playing a little possum here, Cole. Perhaps a powerbomb here, Corey. That certainly seems to be the case. He is a one-man gang in there. And we're seeing a vicious attack to the back. Bringing it back into the ring. Gets to the ropes, forcing the break. And Michael, I have to question the decision to go for a submission so close to the ropes. Oh, and he reverses it. Oh, no, a counter. Whoa, missed by a large margin there. Come on, how do you miss by that much? Wow, he escapes it. He's just got no quit in him here tonight, Cole. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. He goes for the quick pin attempt. Connects with a counter. how you move up the ladder here in WWE. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Can he score the pin? One, two, three. That could break a nose. He lands the strike with great accuracy. Reverses that one. Oh, he's able to reverse it. Second time we're seeing this here. be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. This might be the end of the road for him, Byron. Well, if he can't get back to his feet, you're absolutely right. Man, this is one of those matches you just like to sit back and enjoy. He somehow breaks free. Nice, but he clearly has next to nothing left to give here. Here he goes. You gotta believe this one's over. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Just a punishing choke slam. Gonna be tough for him to fight back from this. Well, the first thing he needs to do is get back to his feet, which is clearly easier said than done. Looking at it a second time. That's it. It's over. It's over. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. And that's twice now. Here he goes for the win. One, two, three. The cover. And this one's history. What a win. Here is your winner, Damian Jones. That's an impressive win right there. That was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win.